we talk about the organization and why is it so important to get to know the place that you work. And so in your experience, tell us how did that look like again? I remember when I started working in HCA, I'm like, oh my God, where do I start? And from a leadership perspective, I think you're looking at a variety of things like leadership competencies. What does your organization do to onboard and develop leaders? That's going to be really important. So instead of walking around like someone just trying to find their way in the dark, you'll understand how to create your budget, what tools do they use, how do you submit an expense report, how do you approve time, all that kind of stuff. Then establishing your professional partnerships. So I think that's really important. Like make friends with your chief human resource officer, make friends with your recruiters, make friends with your chief legal officer, ethics and compliance. Those are the key positions that you're going to reach out to all the time. Then in determining what type of organization you go to work for, I tie it back to know yourself, right? Check out the different types of health systems. And then what I like to do is establish what I call segment meetings with my operational leaders across the organization. So I set up monthly meetings and I meet with them in their office, not in IT. I heard something the other day at a conference that really resonated with me and I had been doing it, but didn't really have a reason why I was doing it. Just felt innately like the right thing to do, but they said, don't ever meet in IT. You need to be in their space and understand what's going on in that operational leader's environment. They don't need to come to your space and live in an IT world. Although some leaders do like to escape their operational space and come up to IT where no one knows where they're at. But in all practical purposes, go to their space, meet the customers where they are. So I establish monthly segment meetings. It gives me an opportunity to connect with the leaders, get to know them, understand what projects they have coming up, what their barriers are, what escalation they need, and really just establish that relationship. So when they have a problem, they can pick up the phone and feel comfortable calling me, and we've already got that relationship. It also helps from an IT perspective for us to get ahead of the projects. We're not playing catch up when a project is coming to fruition. We're actually partnering with the operational teams in a planning and proactive manner. So I think those are some great ways you know, get out in the departments and round, introduce yourself, get to know your physicians. Those kind of connection points are really important. And it just puts a face with a name for them instead of the emails that a CIO sends out or IT security or whatever. It gives them a person and a face with a name.